so the question was, what do UNICE universities think about the IB? Is it an advantage to acceptance? And this is actually what's similar between the AP and the IB. But all US colleges and universities have a system for accepting IB credits the same way they do for AP. And so there are a lot of students and families who are really interested in making sure that the advanced study that you do when you're in high school is really going to help you in college. It can not only set the foundation for being a great student, but you can also access advanced courses. You can save money. You can graduate in three years. You can do a master's degree in four. You can do all kinds of stuff when you have these college level credits. Um, but U.S. colleges and universities, the number one thing they're looking for is the rigor of your high school experience. IB diploma is the most rigorous period. If there's nothing more rigorous happening in the U.S. or elsewhere in the world. So automatically IB students are kind of at the top of the pile when it comes to U.S. university acceptance. There are a whole ton of other things that make students, um, that help them make good applications just kind of by default too. But that's something I wanted to throw out there if people are interested in researching further. Unfortunately, there's not one single formula for like what you can get at college for your IB diploma, but every college will publish the way that they recognize and honor those credits.